everyone welcome to another live stream on organizing inertia demo party we seem to not be having frame drops today which is rather cool wish the same thing would have happened yesterday when we did our shader showdown shader royale test learned a lot of things with that test uh, still not sure what we're gonna do in the end but i learned a lot of things that don't quite work so uh, we're gonna have to do a little brainstorm trying to figure out the best format of Shader Royale for for Inertia itself. Anyways, uh, let me try to organize uh, or announce this stream a little bit more. Why isn't this focusing on my camera? On my face, I mean. Ugh, this camera. So it's not the problem of the camera, it's the monitor. The monitor is not completely flat on the back, it's curvy, so the camera never really sits properly there. It's always a bit wobbly, hard to tune. <coughs> Anyways, let's announce the stream, and then we can start talking stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at our to-do list. Set up name tags for all shader. This is, the, yeah, this is one of the things that I want to, to address. So the name tags, I had an idea using televisions. So I'm gonna try to adapt. Let's see if I can find it. Set the Mercia 2020 background. Let's see if I can find it. Set the Mercia 2020 background. This one, random encounter that we're currently using like this with the green being transparent on OBS as an overlay. So what I wanna do is make this overlay uh, full screen. So take all the whole thing and next to each name of each contestant of the Shader Royale, I'm gonna put a little TV and the TV is gonna be transparent. How are you doing? Been remixing Flopin's shader, I'll send it later. Nice. Did you already get music from Evil? I'm, I'm gonna assume no. That's probably the next important step. Um, as I was saying, uh, so the idea for the Shader Royale new version would be next to the name, put like a television, and I know the exact television that I want, which is this one. So I'm going to take this television uh, made by Croker, the, the creator of uh, Angry Birds, for those who don't know. And I'm going to put every single one of them for un next to each contestant to figure out a way to divide uh, by number of people to be like dynamic kind of thing. So I'm going to put uh, one of these TVs on every single person and the shader is going to be inside, transparent inside, so I will have to manually manually place the image on my desktop behind it. I just realized you're not seeing my mouse, which is important in this case. There we go. I'm going to put on my desktop the shader image behind it, and we're going to end up with a lot of these televisions. Um, I probably can resize and stuff. Let's start saving this because we're going to need this for whatever we do. Um, some documents, Inertia, 2020 background. We have a graphics folder. I guess we should use the graphics folder since it exists and all. So we're gonna put a lot of TVs here, one for each contestant. And what we're gonna do is put the name either underneath or on top of the television, um, somehow. Um, and we can have different rows of TVs. Not sure if I can include the, the little guy or not. We might uh, include him, like in a corner or something. 
Um, so yeah, my, my idea would be to remix this graphics into something useful for, for this. <coughs> I'm thinking maybe trying to do like a row. And the row be somehow dynamic and be bigger or smaller. And then have another row and the row be interleaved a little bit. What are the X, Z, Y on a SoundCloud texture? Or where can I read about it? SoundCloud texture is something for um, for Shader Toy, where it reads the stream from SoundCloud and it uh, gets the audio directly. I guess XZY will just end up being your sound buffer, or maybe the FFT. So it's a Shader Toy thing. Was that part of the of the shader and I missed it? Yeah, input SoundCloud. So it will only work on uh, on shader time. Uh, this doesn't look correct. Oh, buffer A. Okay. Uh, still doesn't look correct. Oh, the channel zero is SoundCloud. It's still not working though. It's not doing anything. It's currently broken, I guess. Because the x dot x z y is just rearranging the order of the of the things. Normally you have x y z, and you if you type dot x z y, you're gonna give it an array with the swapped order between the y and the z. What do each channel corresponds to? I'm not well versed in that. I'm gonna assume that it's the left channel and the right channel of the audio. I I don't see what else can I don't know I never used SoundCloud thing on Shader Toy so I don't know. But if you're gonna use if you're gonna end up using that then your intro will only be playing on Shader Toy. You won't be able to uh, put a version like on a browser or something like that or a desktop. <coughs> Anyways. TVs, transparent TVs, a lot of them. Um, I'm not quite sure how I will handle uh, the number. Um, if it's going to be just occupying more space. Something like that. Um, so I don't know about that part. Uh So I would really like to have a graphic designer at this point. That's my my dream. Uh, that the graphic designer would come miraculously and take this and do a version where you can how you would display when we have not that many people and when we have a lot of people. Because then when we have the monitors here, uh, I could just uh, turn it on and off. And like when a person would be. Uh, kicked out of shader royale i would put static on the tv and that's it like you start with uh 10 screens or something like that and then for each round that someone gets kicked off that channel becomes static and you're left with the the only ones that are still working and then i would do something similar to what i was doing yesterday on the test which would be to be able to go full screen and show each one of them uh, we'll have to prepare the full screen also a bit better to show which one is which more clearly. I mean, I can say it vocally, uh, but it would be nice that you could have all that you could also see. Um, the problem with that is that to put a shader full screen, I have to actually double click on it and change the view on OBS at the same time. And uh, sometimes I can fuck that up. Uh, I can probably do a transition which has a little more duration of that time so that I can uh, 
start doing the transition and then double click to have it maximized and once it finishes the transition on OBS my desktop is already full screen with the thing so it feels like it's sort of okay and then I can do another transition thing to um, minimize this one and maximize the next one so something like that I can try to, to prepare that um, so yeah I think this will work a lot better visually uh, also, another idea that I had was to uh, have a counter here somewhere, uh, listing how much how much time already went through. I think that's important for people to have like a sense of how long it's been. Um, and um, the fight system, instead of picking two people from from the pool, two or up to four, I think we're gonna change it into the voting system where. You can vote for everyone already. It's a live vote, and for each person you vote from 0 to 5, uh, the quality. And you see all of the entries immediately. And then the one after 15 minutes, the one who has the lowest amount of votes gets sacked. Uh, and we keep having uh, the least voted person getting cut off one by one as people keep coding. Um, so visually, what we would do would be pretty much cycling between all of the still active shaders. Uh, like I would cycle between YX, VZ, Evil, Black Hole, Flopine, Writer, YX, VZ, Evil, blah, blah, blah. Give me like, I don't know, 30 seconds, one minute on each one of them. I think 30 seconds is acceptable. Making sure that the time is always the same for each one. So we're not benefiting one comparing to another one. Um, and when the time is up for the voting, we will announce who got cut off and we stop showing that person. So if evil got cut off on the first round, we start doing the cycle by YX, VC, Black Hole, Flopine, Writer. And we skip evil and we keep doing that for uh, every single person. Um, or for every single round until we're done. So people are always seeing um, the the different shaders. Um, I guess we can even do like uh, <clears throat> one or two rounds before each voting. Um, so have a maximized view where we will have the TVs with all of them in thumbnail mode for, I don't know, one minute. And then we go zooming in into one for 30 seconds, zooming in into the next for 30 seconds, zooming in into the next for 30 seconds. And after all of that, we stay another one minute doing an overview. Uh, yesterday's test, it feel, felt kind of weird when all the participants went for the finals without ever fighting. Yeah, I found that weird as well. I think that's. I think this new system will be better in that regard. Also, for us, in terms of organizing, for the Orga team, it will be easier because it's just opening the live voting with all the contestants, and then we will remove one of the contestants um, as it evolves. Maybe we will have to stop live voting for a second, remove the, the person, and then activate live voting again. But I think it works. Um, I might have to try that. Uh, actually, let me see if I can find... If I can find uh, the sandbox of Uhu and try that now, but it should work. It should just work. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be public or not, so I'm gonna find it off screen, but then I'll show you the results uh, inside. I think it's public. I mean, it's a sandbox. Uh, admin. Okay, so this is Wuhu system for those who don't know. Um, live voting. Live voting is not added to the party net menu. If you don't do it, people won't find the page to use yet. Okay. Select compo for live voting. Only compos with closed uploads are visible. Let's go to compos then. Try to close one. Let's open the voting for something who has... This one has six, apparently. Let's open for the pizza bucket moon. Voting is open. So I think if you go to live voting now... Nope. 
It's not added to the party net menu. It says here vote, but maybe you need a special one saying live voting. Yeah, live vote. Okay. Type. I guess it's logged in only, but we'll have to figure that out afterwards. Live vote. I don't know. Save as new. Fatal error. Well, that's good. Correct integer. Incorrect integer value for Kalamuhu. Let's try that again. Did it add it though? No. Maybe I need an order and I didn't put any. Might have been that. Yeah, needed an order. Okay. Uh, live vote is now one. Uh, I can put it in like 91 so it doesn't it's not on top <clears throat> doesn't matter anyways we go to live voting now and uh, we still don't have the compo only compos with closed uploads are visible well oh okay upload is open so let's close okay upload is closed now so now it should be listed here it's not. What about if you refresh? It's not. Ugh, okay. But it should be doable. I mean, uh, if you go to the compo itself, while the live voting is on... Compo open for uploading, compo for updating entries. Maybe this needs to be off. Oh, we changed the order. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see if it shows up now. It does. Okay, so that was the issue. Set for live voting. And now you can supposedly vote. Um, on things and uh, my idea is that while you're voting you go to the compo itself and you remove one of these There's an option to delete. What we're going to do, I, I should probably, instead of messing with this one, I'm going to probably create a new compo. Just call it... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Royal Test. Go. Bam. And now, Royal Test is here. I can add stuff. Product title. I'm going to put name, names of people. This doesn't matter. Do we need to have uploads? I don't think we do. Yes, we do. Let's put a dummy file. Sure, why not? Picture of my kid. Come on. The image wasn't that big. Yeah, this shouldn't take this long.
picture of a cat. So the uploading down here, 31%. And this one, this one is waiting for a response. The images aren't that big. No, but this might be, I don't know where this is hosted. Okay, so evil is uh, listed and YX is still waiting for a response. I guess we're gonna add another another one while we wait for that response. It might never come. Oh, it says two, so it should already have YX and evil. Okay, so my question right now is, I'm gonna get this compo rolling. I'm gonna go to compos, I'm gonna edit. <clears throat> gonna open for voting and close for uh, updating entries. Go, this is done. Live voting. And I'm gonna set the live voting for Royale test on. Okay, and now while it's live voting, Come on. Uh, login register. I guess I need to register. Sure. Uh, vote key, I need to generate one. Zero vote keys used, so I can use any of these. I'm going to use the first one. Okay. And now we should be able to live vote. Why aren't the entries showing? Mm hmm. Maybe it needed this. Hmm. They're green now. Maybe I need to turn off the live voting and turn it on again. Show author on the slide, that's fine. Number of top entries to show their prize giving, doesn't matter. Maybe because the compo is in the past. <coughs> mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Now they show up. Okay, so now you can vote for YX and then, so yeah, they needed to be turned from new to uh, selected. So it's a matter of creating the compo, putting all the lists of the people there. I list both of them here. I set this. 
Uh, I think it's already set. And now if I go to the other page and I refresh, yeah, we have both evil and YX and I can vote accordingly. I'm going to give three to evil and four to YX. If everyone else would have voted, I don't know, two for everything, we would have concluded that evil has uh, the lowest results. Does it show up here? Cancel. Uh, <laughs> Where can we see the results? That's what I would like to know. Uh, it's not on live voting, clearly. Um, do, 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 do. Compose. Results, maybe. Perhaps some results. Perhaps the results. Yes, here we go. Uh, so YX has four points and evil has three points. So we go here. We check that uh, evil is the lowest one. We announce that evil is the lowest one right now. And we'll go to live voting. And disable evil. And when we do that, the live coding will stop stop showing evil. Sad. Stop showing evil. Okay. If we click set. Don't forget to click set. I hope you're seeing what I'm doing, Alien. Because uh, you're the one who's going to have to be dealing with this. Um, so, yeah. And my question right now is... If this is not selected, are the results still... Yeah. The res results... It still maintains the same number of points. So, that's fine. Pretty much. I think. So, yeah. So that's the whole idea. You have to create the compo, or create all the entries. So to summarize, you have to go to compos, add new compo, add all the entries there for all the name. Then you have to edit the compo itself. Um, turn it on for voting, disable it for uploading entries. And on the entries themselves, on organize, you need to uh, put the light from new to qualified. And then you go to live voting. You can select the thing here for live voting. And when you select it, you will have the option listed here. What happens if I do this? All right, relaunches. Okay, with the other one. Okay, set. Bam. Shows these two. I'm going to add YX. It's saved, so it should already be showing. Let me try to add both. See if it, this works. Refresh. Has both. Remove evil. Saved. Refresh. Still has evil. Still has evil. I think I need to set. Yeah. If you do the set, then it updates this. Otherwise, it doesn't. It's not very intuitive because it says saving and everything. But apparently, it's not. It's saving, but not really, <laughs> not really storing it. I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do a test like uh, uh, one week before the event or something like that. We'll do a complete test for all the compos and see and see how well, not all of them, but a few of them. Um, but yeah, it, it, it works. This is what I wanted to know. You have to toggle this off and click set. And then the live voting system will no longer show you that option, but you can keep voting on the other ones and change the values. So as the Shader Royale progresses, you can start giving everyone a 1 when everyone has a black screen. And then when someone does a cube, you give him a 5. But then someone else did a better cube, so you have to change this guy's to, to, to 4 and give someone else a 5. So you can switch all the things at once and you vote as you see the updates on, on what's happening. So uh, you'll have to be tweaking stuff. And um, the minimum, the person with the minimum results is the one who starts getting sacked. And eventually we'll do the rotation throughout all of the people. And uh, all the results will be updated. So it's a matter of figuring out the timing for things. And I think I like the... Um, 15 minutes, 20 initial thing. I think 15 minutes is enough to have something on screen. I mean, um, you should think that you are, that you might get sacked if you don't do any update whatsoever. So where you need that initial thing of having something, anything on screen to make sure that you're not the first one getting kicked out. And then you can keep evolving on it uh, until you, until you uh, win the whole combo. 
So yeah, I like that idea. The, I think this works. So at least we tested the the, the compo thing for the voting system. Um, this is already done. Uh, I need to do visual um, overlay for OBS shader royale with the TV's idea and longer transition time to full screen. Okay. So yeah, ideally I would like to get a graphics designer to help me with that. Uh, but I, I, I think we won't be able to get any. So it's, it, it is what it is. Um, test on Friday 11, the Shadow Royale system. We already did that. Prepare the teach yourself demo scene seminar. I, I will have to do this, but I think I will do it uh, after this live stream. Finish contacting all the listed people about possible seminars. This I will also do offline, but it's a matter of going through this list down here. And see whoever wasn't already pinged. Someone was already pinged. I need to recheck on them if uh, they are stuck with anything. If they conclude no. If they can conclude yes. Figure out dates. So it's pretty much rechecking this whole list and pinging them again. And the ones I didn't ping for one reason or another. I can do that now. Or update the list that, that we're not contacting them. Regardless of that, the seminar flyer has been spread already. Uh, we didn't get any submissions from that, so I think people don't really care about uh, media being... No, demo party announcing stuff. Um, they might care on the day to check it, but they don't really care about participating that much. Um, unless it's something close to them. But regardless of that, we already have a few people who uh, said they would do a seminar, at least four or five. So I have to check with them dates, uh, schedule something in concrete, and uh, go for that. Yeah, I think we can show it, even if you finish it for... Uh, Alien was pinging me on... Um, on Hangouts, show his shade toy of his changes that he did to the flyer. Well, looks looks pretty decent. Some changes here and there. Yeah, you need music and some syncs, and then I think I think it would be all right. Yeah, we're missing music right now. With music, you can make this into an invitation, and if you if you would have a four clang music, you could even do this for uh, the the four K compo at at function. Uh, one thing you could add, if it's not for four K compo, is uh, text saying information, like "Don't forget to come to Nerd Demo Party 2005." HTTP, uh, inertia.pt, that kind of stuff. Um, announcing the date, that's also always important. Well, if you want to submit it to any demo party, it would be function because it's the only demo party left before inertia. If you want to put it just um, outside of any compo, that's, that's also fine, but less people will see it. So, yeah. <coughs> hey, evil. This is the effect we have so far for the invitation. Can you do music for this? We are running out of time. So talk with Alien, please give him some track if you if you have something or not. Um, let's check what other stuff we have left on our to-do list. Uh, follow up on interested seminar speakers. So this is our these are the main people who agreed to do stuff. Uh, we also had Poi, who uh, who said he might do something. Deadline when tomorrow? I don't know. It, if it's for function, I think you have one week left. Don't know when the function deadline is. Let's find out. Why by default does it go to demoparty.net? 
should go here. So 18 to 20. So uh, six days. When is where? Where are the deadlines? Blah 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 blah. Deadlines, deadlines. Could you please give me some deadlines? Deadlines, deadlines. There is no. I think you can submit remotely without paying. There are no deadlines. If you don't have deadlines showing on Compose, when will we know when the deadline is? Deadlines! It's in the schedule, obviously. Deadline for all other competitions is at 2 p.m. on 19 of September. It's on the schedule. It's on the schedule. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, if you want to submit something to function, you have one week. If you want to put some text and stuff, it might go over 4 kilobytes because text in uh, 4Ks is actually expensive. Um, so uh, it might be easier to just uh, do a 64K out of that. It will be a very crappy 64K. But, well, it will be 64k nonetheless. Anyways, that's it about function. We're gonna close this. We already talked about the TV things. Um, I'm gonna start working on the demo shows because there's still one, two, three, four, five demo shows that I have to prepare. So I'm gonna prepare one of them today. And that's gonna be the deadline demo show. So deadline was canceled this year. Uh, there was another party called deadline before the deadline of Berlin. Got a fair light. Was this in Sweden? It looks very Swedish. Yeah, Stockholm. Indeed. I do really, I do I, I did vaguely remember that line being Swedish, now that you talk about it. Okay, this is not the deadline we want. We want the other deadline. We want the Berlin deadline. Which is more recent, so less entries. Um, is the invitation any good? Invitation is quite decent. Let's include it. I'm gonna create a new list and best of deadline and demo party. Bam. Bricks by Gaspot. Gaspot usually does some pretty good stuff. Remember this, or do I? Oh, nice. I'm sold. Gaspot, you win. I'll take it. I'll take it. Pixels, people jumping. It's awesome. Nice. So this is how you prepare a demo show in 15 minutes. A one hour demo show in 15 minutes. 
you don't actually have to see all the thing. Just make sure that it's working, and that it's half decent. Wonder what's this? Oh, they made like a pixel thing. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not awesome either. It's actually a case, and it's called test case. Ha, ha, so funny. Sure, whatever, I'll include it. told you this year we're going to be popular yeah yeah synthwave synthwave is the best this one's pretty good i remember it <laughs> So lower the sound from the columns. <coughs> Next year, 2016. Was the invitation any good? I don't see my comment anywhere. I think I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it. Do I have that? I have that. Um, it's like doing. Sure, why not? Um, is Dark Gods any good? Super Medium is really good. I remember that much. I don't remember construction cycle, but I think it's just an invitation for Tomb. So I don't think I'm gonna bother. Rhodium is really, really good. And Among the Stars as well. So these two definitely need to be included. Dark Gods, I don't remember it. And we already have quite a few things like gas pots. So I think I'm gonna skip this one. Uh, Super Medium will include it. Rhodium is just massive. Massive. Really good 4K. Uh, next year, so 2016, let's go to 2017. Invitation. This was really good invitation. This one definitely was. <laughs> Sorry for the volume. Not my fault, but sorry anyways. Um, oh, hold on, it's really good. Oh, and Whaley. Whaley was released at that line? I didn't even remember that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember there was a 4K compo that was really, really good at that line, and I'm wondering if it's 2017. <laughs>
Okay, that should be enough for 2017. Let's take a look at 2018. Veneta, was this any good? Kind of. Not sure what to do with 256 bytes, if I should include, because there are a lot of good ones in here. <coughs> the question is, do I include all of them or just some? Uh, I guess I can go for the highest voted ones. This one was really good because it had like a, its own scent, 156 bytes. This one was really good about it. This one's an image I can't even include it. It's not on YouTube. Uh, I think I'm gonna skip it. I've seen better stuff from Helmuj. Yeah, this was funny. Funny in a close to be misogynistic way. Let's not care. And the moron, did I add it already? I don't think I did. Okay, that was 2018. Let's go to 2019. Should be the last one. Um, invitation by Robin Aug for the Vectrex. Wasn't all that good, was it? Let's see if the capture. Well, it's only two minutes, so. Sure, why not? Not that many votes here. Yeah, the problem with this YouTube is that it's listing from the complete thing. Okay, yes, it's a 53 hour video. Uh, it only takes, but there's no snipped version. So, white combo. First entry. 
So I guess we're gonna have to skip it, even though it was interesting. But well, it is what it is. Okay, so that was the selection for deadline. Um, was there an invitation for this year? Was it any good? Let's take a look. That's pretty much a one screener. Then it gets dark. Yeah, I think you can skip it. No one will die. <coughs> okay. Vessel deadline done. So that was already a productive evening. Uh, we need to spam the last announcement, which apparently it's today. I can do that now as well. Announcement number five, which should be this. More competitions, mixed in drone footage, short film interactive demo competition over top five. Okay, so let's spam this, and that will be it for today's um, today's stream. Close this as well. Let's try to find announcement five. So Next is already gone. There it is. Preview. Okay, your all is working. Bam. Okay, let's spam it on Discord. And on Twitter. Uh, Mastodon. Instagram. And face palm.
Okay. Spam is done. One less item on the list. I'm gonna give up on the party jingle, because if we don't have it by now, we will never have it. Evil is working on um, sound for the invitation, so uh, apparently it will be done by tomorrow evening. And uh, if that is done, we might have still an invitation intro. If we don't, that's fine, it's not the end of the world. Taste fact compo of every kind, we'll have to do it eventually. Poke car guy, that's after, um, after function is done. So right now I have to start doing these other things. The overlay for OBS, Shader Royale. Really wish I had um, a graphic designer to help me with this. Um, but uh, maybe I'll give it a thought for a couple more days. And prepare the Teach Yourself Seminar. I think this is crucial since it's uh, the seminar tomorrow. Probably have to pre-record it somehow. Uh, because of the packet lost, mostly, because I could probably do it uh, live. Um, might make more sense that I just pre-record it and set it to premiere, and then I'll be on YouTube uh, answering stuff. Um, that might make more sense. And then afterwards, we can do a QA and a if anyone has any questions. If anyone is following at all, I don't know. Um, it will kind of fuck up with the Twitch thing. Although you can upload videos to Twitch. You can't really premiere them on Twitch, can you? I don't think you can. Oh, there was the setting for you to play videos on Twitch. Pre-recorded videos. Setting for you to play videos on... Mute myself. Uh, where the fuck was it? Video producer? You can upload stuff, but then how do you tell it to play that one? So I guess I'll have to do it live in the sense that I'm playing the video while I'm... <laughs> But yeah, it makes sense that we're still doing it on Twitch because the idea was to have... Uh, it's been announced on Twitch everywhere. Um, YouTube is just handier to have premieres things. But yeah, I can just, yeah I'm going to record it and I'll put it on VLC full screen and I'll just, you know, go drink some water or something um, while it's playing or just talk on the chat with other people if anyone has any questions. Uh, I hope we have a few more viewers tomorrow. I'll, I guess I'll have to spam it during the day to make sure that people show up. Although it's more targeted for people who are not knowledgeable of the demo scene, so mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm having second doubts on how useful this particular seminar is. I just wanted to kickstart things in terms of uh, seminars being shown so other people are start um, assigning dates themselves instead of leaving everything for last minute. Um, I guess I should just advance, just do it. And if there are not that many people, at least the video is on YouTube and other people can watch it later. It's a good archival reference, so I should just prepare it and play it and whatever happens will happen. I'm still looking here for a way to show stuff uh channel should be some way to do a premiere i know you can put videos up to one hour Host pre-recorded videos include channel streaming, pre-recorded videos like premieres or reruns. So they exist, these kind of channels. But where the hell is the premiere option here? Uh, streaming tools, maybe? No. This is for, like, um, external tools.
stream manager. Uh, nope, that's not it. Well, let's ask the internet. So video producer apparently. What year was it? 2018, so terribly outdated by now. Yeah, they probably changed this already. But let's try to take a look in that section anyways. Video producer. Video producer, let's see. Yeah, that's where I was. Maybe after I upload a video, I can define. Let me try to upload anything small, preferably. Videos. Uh, how do I know if a video is small? Details. Sure, I don't know what this is, but looks good. It just uploads. Can I then define here, maybe? The rerun queue, collections. Doesn't make any sense. I guess the highlight is to put this as a highlight of the the most viewed thing that you can uh. So yeah, it's not doing the upload, so that's I don't need to upload it anymore. It should be one of these options here. I had to highlight watch. What about edit? Uh, permissions. But maybe it needs to be a new video for the premiere option to be available. So let, let's, let's try to upload again. <coughs> And if there is a premiere working, I can put the premiere here and on YouTube. And that's it. When I just chat on uh, potions. That would be nice. I think, it, I think the videos were limited to one hour, though. Which, for our format of 90 minutes, is not as good. But... I mean, 90 minutes was only the maximum number because some workshops on some demo scene stuff always felt like 45 minutes was too little. So I thought, okay, I can just uh, tell people that they have two hours if they want to. And uh, two hours is about, well, 90 minutes is one hour and a half. And then uh, 15 minutes for Q&A, that's about two hours. That was my logic. But if they don't have enough uh, content to fill the two, the two hours, that's fine. You can just uh, give a shorter video, a shorter presentation. <clears throat> okay, processing. So this might take 500 years. Only option right now is to delete. Let's see, once it's, once it's uploaded and processed, what options we have. Maybe it depends on your level of um, of Twitch, like if you're a Twitch affiliate, if you're a Twitch partner, whatever it is that you are. 
which is quite confusing to know where you stand. Channel analytics maybe tells you. No, it's just stats. It's subs. Achievements. Path to partner. So I'm not a Twitch partner yet. I'm an affiliate, apparently. Uh, if I would have an average of 75 viewers, I would be able to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm so close. <laughs> so, so close. Um, come on, how long will this take to process? It's only 3 megabytes. Okay, this is taking too long. I'm gonna try to figure this out offline. Thank you guys for watching the stream today. Uh, see you tomorrow with the seminar. Hopefully, I'll announce it during the day. If I decide that the seminar doesn't make much sense or delay it for a little while longer, we'll have the regular... Okay, now it's done. We'll have the regular uh, stream. Set as channel trailer. Add to... There's only publish. There's no option to... Publish it as a premiere. Uh, let's try publishing, see what happens. Ah, it goes to this page. Wow. Amazing. Permissions. No, no. I don't know. Maybe they remove the premiere stuff. You don't really go to Twitch for videos anyways. Uh, you go to Twitch for live streams. So um, it makes sense that it's not that they remove that functionality. Probably no one was using it to begin with. Um, so yeah, it seems that I will have to do the um, it live. Either do the presentation live. And if that's the case, I'll record. It doesn't fuck up the presentation itself. Uh, otherwise, I'll do the video and then just play the video while being here on the chat answering questions um, by text. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.